Hello, I'm Alex Fernandez with Life News Today. We've been requested to do a report on what people are mostly concerned about amid the coronavirus pandemic. Primarily, people who have been recently laid off of their work find it hard and wonder what to do to maintain their health insurance. Well, I mean, some people, they have uh, the uh, option of uh, getting COBRA, but, I mean, uh, a lot of people, they're not going to be able to afford it. Are you, are you trying to aim for COBRA or...? I'm waiting for the, uh, for the info because uh, once you are laid off and the, 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 your, your employer uh, stops the insurance, by law, uh, you know, you can uh, keep the insurance that you had, but uh, it's not going to be 100% out of uh, the employee's pocket. The, uh, previous, the former employer is not responsible for, for any part. They should apply to uh, Trump care. Uh, it's like a, like a Medicare and Medicaid. Single parent households. What is to happen to the children if they get sick? My main concern mm -hmm. is that I get sick and then all my kids get sick. I think that the government should have done, I think the government should have taken the same stance as Italy and everybody else with the mandatory lockdown. Then if, God forbid, you get sick and your children get sick, what, what would the plan be then? Well, hopefully we would all be able to be quarantined together and none of us would have to be in the hospital. But I mean, that's the reality is that I'd be mm -hmm. quarantined with five sick kids. Well, hopefully there would be people that would care enough about me to put groceries on my front porch and run away. But I mean, like, I, I don't know. You know, I've thought about it and I just pray that if it comes to that, that I won't get stuck in the hospital or one of them won't get stuck in the hospital because then I don't really know. And why are you so scared of the hospitals? Because if I'm at the hospital sick, who's going to be with my kids? What has happened to the U.S. and global economy after the coronavirus pandemic is over? Many people will have to recuperate a lot of lost productivity. Socially and economically, there will be some time for recuperation. And finally, how will this economic downfall affect the primary presidential elections here in the United States. I'm your host, Alex Fernandez, with Life News Today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out the article at lifenewstoday.com and also follow us on Facebook. Thank you so much.